emotion that we ex- uh, were there were there any was there well, anything well well done no, so I, kind of I sent you feedback and then then you sent me feedback to my feedback so, right so I, all, I, uh, I put emma's name up on the website yeah great so we're all set yeah. with that okay all right motion motion for okay we're going to have an update on our uh permitting vendor um so the long and short of it is that um the town administrator and Ben and the vendor and I are meeting two weeks from yesterday. So okay. I think that's December 6th. The reason why we're meeting, uh, as you may recall, is that at the last meeting, the board members voted to uh, stop trying to do business with the vendor and ask for our money back. Um, the contract was reviewed by um, the town administrator and apparently there is uh, verbiage in the contract that says if there's any disputes at all uh, that we need to mediate. Right. And again, I have I haven't seen the contract. Okay. Um, so that pushes out uh, meeting with them with the vendor for two weeks, which means we don't have letters going out to anybody right. until then explaining that you need to renew. Uh, however, I will say that uh, we have food establishments that have done it on their own. Right, I see that. Yeah, so and I've got some permits here to review tonight. But uh, so some of them are not waiting. It's like they they know the drill. Right. So they're moving forward. All right. So should we continue? You'll give us an update after the meeting. Uh, yeah, Peter? We, yeah. We meet uh, again on the eighth. This board of health meets on the eighth, so we're meeting with the vendor on the sixth. Oh, good. Okay, yeah, so, so we'll have so an update. Two days later. Great. Update on the town nurse position? Sure. So um, I met with the RN candidate, Debbie Marquis, who is a, uh, an RN with extensive community and uh, administrative background. Uh, she used to be in Greater Springfield Senior Services, very well um, uh, versed in in, in in community nursing and uh, we felt that she was a very strong candidate and uh, I sent an email to HR either Thursday or Friday of last week uh, explaining that we wanted to move forward with her and I got an email from HR today basically saying she did never received my email which is a little odd because the email addresses are the same so We'll see what happens in terms of moving forward. But I said we did want to go ahead and I asked her to reach okay. out to her. That effective start date would be January. I, I will follow up with uh, Jennifer midweek. Okay. So can we, can we go back to what we just said? Um, so she's starting, uh, assuming she passes. She would not start till the first of the year. No, no, I get that. So, but well, we've got to do the Corey background and all that stuff first. Does, does she understand that? Yes, okay. yes, 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 okay. yes. Good. Yeah. Okay, and she's going to be seven and a half hours a week. Uh, seven point two five. Seven point two five. And I'm asking from a budgeting view. Right. Yeah. That's yep, what yep. we're budgeted for. Okay. Good. And that sort of segues us right into number five, budget eight. Okay. Uh, update any additional items for fiscal year. Okay, so we we've, we've set our permitting fees. Uh, and good. So for our budgeting, uh, Peter, where where do we stand with that? Um, so I need from you guys anything else you need, anything you want to add to the budget, or anything you want to change. And so last last meeting, uh, you mentioned that you wanted to put in uh, additional hours for administrative work. You want to go from um, mm. seven seven hours a week to ten hours a week. Right, Th- that's fine. Um, you want to go full time with the health agent with right. Ben. Um, in talking with the financial people earlier this week, they asked me, "What does that mean?" Because apparently we have like three different versions of full time in town government here. So uh, do you want him to work or maybe you've already talked to Ben about this, but 
Are we doing 30 hours a week? We're doing 35. Are we doing 40? I would say 35. Uh, yeah, I, I really, I don't know at this point, quite frankly. Um, well, we can certainly, you know, we could use it 40, but I, would. you know, yeah, uh, I, I mean, part of it was also finding out where he was with uh, what isn't getting done as a result of the uh, hours that he is working. Um, in talking with other health agents in the towns, um, uh, they would have thought we, given how many restaurants, et cetera, we have in business establishments, they would have thought two full-time positions. My gut feeling is we're going to need 40 hours, but um, when you say there are three types of full-time positions, well, can you yeah, so, so full-time, uh, not everybody, some people work. 30 hours a week, some do 35, some do 40, you probably do 50. I, no, yeah. Um, I'm actually hourly, so technically I'm 37.5, but if I go over that, I get caught time. But, okay. Yeah. So, um, but regardless, <laughs> it, once um, somebody hits 19 hours, they're benefit eligible. Sure. So, uh, so that's the question in terms of what, what am I putting into the budget? And the suggestion was that you guys need to make sure uh, the best you can, what does Ben want to do? Does he want to do 40 hours a week, you know, or does he want to do 30 or does he want to do 35? And well, I, 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 thinking it through after listening to Margaret, I would say let's, we should put in for 40. If Ben did, did, ended up not wanting to do that, we have another candidate who could do, uh, fill in the, uh, the other five hours. Um, or, you know, seven hours, whatever it was. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I would put in for 40 hours. Okay. Regardless of what Ben, you know, what he sees as full time. Okay. We, we have another, we have another candidate who would be happy to pick up some time. Yeah. Um, Beyond that, is I mean, is there anything else? That... We talked about some, uh, items in the budget for, uh, dues. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so the last meeting, uh, you wanted to put in $500 yes. okay. for dues and subscriptions. Are we going to need any equipment for Ben or whoever our health inspector is moving forward? I, I don't know. I don't well, think so. I mean, he's, you know, we have money this year for him to get okay. a, a tablet. All right. Well, I know we, he bought thermometer. You know, there was yeah. equipment that he needed. Yeah, he's got thermometers. Okay. Um, he has a computer mm -hmm. now. Um, okay. But I, I'm not aware of anything else that he needs. Okay. All right. Um, and if he needs something, we still have money okay. in the budget for this year. Okay. Did we put anything in for community needs? Um, that got taken out last year? You uh, In the minutes, um, there's a line uh, stating that we want to put something in there for community outreach and needs, but I don't know how much. Uh, I would say a thousand dollars. Thousand, yeah. Okay. And I'll discuss that with Anna as well. Um, water testing, uh, last time. You had mentioned we want a budget for three hundred dollars. Right, that's what Emma had suggested. Yeah. Okay. Um. So again, I don't know if there's anything else that you guys right. can I think, think, of. think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so the way the way it's going to work is that the first draft is, is due to the town administrator and the treasurer uh, on Friday the sixteenth of December. So that. Go ahead. I have a question. Does Tommy, the, the building inspector, do they get compensated for their car? You know, for mileage? I, I can tell you. I do. Whenever I go out, I do, I get compensated for mileage, but that comes out of my budget. Yeah. Are, are you talking about Tom? What no, is, Chuck, you always know, thinking about Ben because Ben had mentioned that when we yeah. took the so, job. So Tom, so Tom, Tom is assigned a car. Oh, he has yeah, a car. He, he has a town car. Okay. Not a Lincoln town car, but his town. Can you discuss with Carolyn when? When the moment seems right, whether that would be appropriate uh, to, to for, budget for, for him for mileage, yeah, because he does do a lot of driving, you know, up and down. Oh, he's, and, up and he's down, and, 
you know, going to all the different restaurants. Oh, okay. I thought you meant commuting. No, I wouldn't. I don't. No, no. you don't get to charge no. for right. your. It would be once right. he's here. But, you know, if the, the building inspector is getting their own car, then we should consider some appropriate compensation, it would seem to me. I mean, they should be on par. I don't know. I haven't thought about that. That's yeah. interesting. Anyway, do yeah. have to see what we're up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see her yeah. on Monday. Um, in, in any event, so um, so the first draft is due, first draft of the budget is due Friday, December 16th. What I'll do is I will do the first draft next week. Great. I'll send it to you guys to look at before I send it to uh, the treasurer and to okay. the town administrator. Is there anything else you can think of, Peter? That we're... I, I, I can't. Um, right. Ben's got a phone. That's all taken care yeah, of. He's got a phone. Okay. And, and again, he's waiting to buy a tablet based okay. upon the application right. that he ends up using right. to document his inspections. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, for, for my position, there's nothing okay. more that I need. Okay. So, Margaret. Okay. I'm looking you need over need cards. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, but no, I something, but I can't think of what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. So is is all of Ben's things like his phone use all all of that's already covered for in his allocation? Yeah, I mean, that's going to need to go into next year's budget, right? His phone bill and that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. So, so whatever his charge is, let, let's say it's $50 a month. So that'll go into the budget. Yeah, that, so we've carry, already got that, that in yeah, there. Yeah, that'll, okay. that'll carry forward. Yeah. That, that's, well, sure. I, I say now it shouldn't change, but again, it depends on what Verizon ends up doing. Right. But yeah, he'll, he'll still need a phone. Right. Well, I think we're in good shape with our budget. Oh, plan. I know what I wanted to ask. Does... Dennis, who's covering our plumbing inspection fees, do we do we need to budget for him for um, you know I'm sorry he's not doing our budget I mean our plumbing things but um, Mr. Phil who is doing um, some of our septic systems and all of that Ben will be so okay so so we don't need to budget for that for any per diem or anything like that for you know we are probably you, should you Kevin yeah. Kevin I'm sorry we Kevin. probably put should put something in there in case there was an emergency or we needed to use Kevin if, if Ben was not mm -hmm. available it wouldn't have to be a lot but we should have like five hundred dollars it's a good point Marvin the um you know, it's by, by the way, the, the, the septic inspection activity this year compared to last year was way down. Um, I think it's partially because the real estate market has cooled on. I and see. Not as many mm -hmm. people can have their selling. Ben uh, had his training this week, right? Uh, he, I think it was uh, last he finished, week. He finished on Monday. So it was two days. It was last Friday and then Monday. And I haven't I haven't seen him since last week. All right. We we passed like I'm ships curious as to when the exam is. But, okay, good. That's great. That's Becky. excellent. That's excellent. Meanwhile, the check never work. cleared. The check what? that I wrote. So the check what happened? That's weird. Uh, so Susan. I know covered the check yeah. right. So it never cleared. Never cleared the bank. I'll keep looking. That's oh, strange. Okay. Yeah. It was two fifty. That sounds right. Yeah. Okay. That's bizarre. Yeah. Well, don't stop payment on it because your bank will charge you. No, no, no. I don't say that. <laughs> All right. Um, the bio about wastewater. So I'm having website issues. I know you said we would post it, but maybe it's something really, really simple. But when I link to the document, um, the, the Adobe document, I can't just upload that document. It wants to link can you talk to, to Emma? me? So I thought I would talk to Emma about it. You know, I, I've tried a number of different ways, but do you have any sense of that by any chance? I'd have to look at it. So I get an Adobe, so I get okay. a forwarded Adobe document okay. to me. But I can't just uh, click on a URL for that and say command copy mm -hmm. and then put that 
load that up. It wants to go to whatever I've got open in Adobe. Mm -hmm. All right. So you guys, hey, because why don't you reach out and we can figure it out? Thank you. And if that doesn't work, grab the panel. Okay. Um, I mean, we can also contact Northeast IT too. Yeah. Northeast Northeast IT, we pay them. I would just. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That's why none of this has been posted, just to FYI okay. update you. All right. All right. Anyway, we are having getting twice weekly. It is, I believe, reports once a week. Uh, it feels like I'm getting a number. I of think them it's in, twice uh, weekly. Yeah. Putting up. All right. So we will, um, the next item, we will defer to when Emma is here. Right. And any other items that could not be reasonably anticipated yes peter yeah so i so i had permits uh and applications for permits that came in uh in the last couple days uh so let me review them and, and then you guys can vote thank you one at a time or all together it doesn't matter all together okay so the first one is for uh, uh an organization or uh, a business called far barrack farm Barbaric being uh, the owners are Barbara and Eric, a husband and wife team. They're up in Shelburne, and they want uh, a permit to participate in the farmer's market that starts December 3rd at the mall. Uh, they're going to be, it's all prepackaged stuff. They're not going to be cooking or anything like that, so there's no gas grills, uh, nothing like that. I'm going to interrupt you for one second. Yep. While you're sending emails, could you just send Ben an email and let him know when the farmer's market's going to be started? He, he, he already oh, is. does he know already? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I've already briefed him. Okay, thank you, Peter. He, he's he's going to be there. Okay. Uh, he may not be there for Saturday. No, 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 yeah. So uh, they will be selling, however, uh, frozen, frozen lamb, uh, some other frozen meats. Uh, they're going to be selling pies, pickles, blah, blah, blah. But they're not cooking anything. They're just okay. bringing it there. They're selling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they they sent all their documentation. Yeah. Yeah. They seem to be in good standing, so on and so forth. So that that's number one. Uh, number two is um, a company that wants to do um, uh, septage haulage, hauling septic. Oh right. Yeah. Yes. Water. Uh, it, the company is uh, GMG Enterprises. They're in South Deerfield. Um, they already do business in South Deerfield. Uh, they sent all their documentation, their permits in South Deerfield. Uh, I think they're in Greenfield also. I seem to remember that. Did we talk about them before? Yeah. No, okay. that was uh, the last yeah. meeting. We, there was somebody, I think it was Mark LaValle. Um, and both both these people have, have paid. Um, Johnny's Diner on Route 9, they're just renewing. Yep. Um, and Hillside Pizza, which is obviously on Route 9, um, they're renewing as well. So those are the four uh, applications that I have tonight. Um, I would anticipate that we're going to have more applications next week for the farmer's market. We don't meet until after the farmer's market starts. So I'm not sure what you want me to do with those permits, uh, those applications. I don't know if you want to have an emergency meeting or do, 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 do they have to wait until we meet again, which means they would miss a week. Yeah, we don't want them to miss a week. So so, we, why, so why don't I do this is that on Monday, because the town hall is not open on Friday, on Monday, when I get in, I'll see if any permits came in, or any application came in, I'll email you guys. Right, Margaret, we could have an emergency meeting. Yeah, yeah I'm I, just I trying to think of my it. schedule. Yeah. yeah, so we'll just yeah. have a, an emergency We'll meeting. figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I, I would recommend doing something towards the end of the week. Okay. That way, uh, I can collect as many yeah. as possible. Right. We'll, we'll be in touch. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it starts next Saturday. So, okay. you know, if we meet... Thursday or Friday, then okay. I can email their permits, assuming they're yeah, Thursday would be on good. Friday. Okay. So you guys figured out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so we'll meet in an emergency. So anyway, session. so you need to vote on these four. All in favor? Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's all I had. 
Uh, anybody have any other business? No, I'll just check from. Um, all right, I will follow up with Jennifer next midweek about the uh, nursing position. Thank and you. I'll check with them about the community needs funding. Is that the collaborative survey as well? Is that the. Did Emily get that done? I, 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 I have no idea. I, um, I haven't seen her since two weeks ago. <clears throat> I'll, I'll ask her. Um, the other thing I think she was, or, or Ben was going to consider appropriate fines and get back to us. Yes. For the fourth inspection. Right. He was going to figure out a whole protocol. All right. So I, I think, he, uh, so it's next week's the first of the month. But if we, if this is an emergency meeting, he won't be there until the following week. So we'll hold that off. We'll, we'll go, we'll talk with him. Let's ask him to come to the next schedule. Yeah, which meeting. is December 8th. Okay. Yeah. You want me to send him an email on that? Oh, I, I'm quite right. happy okay. to send. Yeah. All right. Anything else? All right, we're going to adjourn the meeting. Mm -hmm.